Open source forms the bones of our digital infrastructure that undergirds all of our daily activities, not unlike the roads and bridges that keep us together in our physical world. Understanding the maintenance costs of this infrastructure, then, is key to understanding how to care for our digital future. You can see why the making part of software would dominate the conversation in open source. It's strange and compelling to think of our entire digital world propped up by the work of volunteer developers who write open source because they enjoy it. But as it turns out, writing new code is only one small part of maintaining software. In reality, the majority of time spent on software is not on making, but maintenance, which makes up, by some estimates, somewhere around 50 to 70% of a typical software developer's work. And yet, curiously much less conversation has been spent on understanding the maintenance of software. If you're familiar with open source already, you know that it runs on contributions from developers all over the world. A developer writes and publishes their project online initially, but once it's up, anyone can contribute to it by submitting changes to the project. These changes are reviewed by that original developer or by any other number of so-called maintainers that they've recruited and either accepted or declined. If you've ever used Google Docs, it's like suggesting edits, where someone else with edit permissions decides whether your suggestion will make it in. From an economics perspective, researchers typically explain open source like this. Developers are intrinsically motivated to make and contribute to software because they like hacking away on new ideas. They share that code because they get reputational rewards for showing off their ideas. And software, like other kinds of information, is zero marginal cost, meaning that the cost to produce it doesn't increase with more users. Said another way, if I write and publish my code on GitHub, the popular hosting platform for open source projects, it should make no difference to me whether 10 or 10,000 people want to use it. The cost to me as a developer is the same. While this all sounds great in theory, in practice, economists are basically saying that software doesn't have any maintenance costs, or perhaps that maintenance is just as intrinsically motivating and therefore just as free as creation. But we know this just isn't true. All software does carry hidden ongoing marginal costs, just not ones that people like to talk about. 